wait, my feet are sticking out the bottom of the boat. What? I didn't know that happened. Is that a thing? Hey, guys, sorry, welcome. Haha, <laughs> medieval Minecraft fortified house tutorial coming right up. This house has plenty of room on the lower floors for storage. It has two towers for that extra level of fortification, plenty of bars on the lower windows, and inside, loads of room to do exactly what you want in your own medieval Minecraft fortified house. Hey, if you like inspiration and tutorials like that, then don't forget, hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell, and then you'll never miss a video, and you'll never miss being inspired in Minecraft. This little build starts off with a little five by five grid. It is a five by five building system grid build thing. Yeah, anyway, look, little pumpkins are marking out this five by five grid, understand? We're gonna start this build one block up from the ground level. So I'm gonna start on this little bit of blue right here with four oak logs in the corners. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We can fill in the gaps at the top here with some horizontal logs. Nice, easy start. And then I'm gonna use oak wood slabs at the top. Follow me on Twitter for updates and notifications about when my videos come out as well, guys. Okay, getting rid of those blocks, leaving a little floating platform here. We're actually gonna duplicate this another three times. Now I'm using special commands to do this, but these are not difficult to build. So just go ahead and build eight of these in, that's a mistake of Domeka, uh, eight of these in total. Then another four sticking out the side. You can see how they all overlap and share the common blocks in the middle. So you've got 12 of these to build in total. Now the floor, Underneath, you could use anything that you've got lots of. I'm gonna use polished Andy Azura site, one of my favorite blocks. And it's exactly underneath what you've just built. So that's pretty simple, no counting needed. Okay, gonna make a couple of changes here to the front. Gonna make this all stone bricks there and fill in that bit there and fill in that bit there. Again, the front egg is gonna change a little bit here. I'm not making many of these changes, but this is definitely one of them right here. You can fill in this gap, but leave some space for windows. In fact, it's not gonna be windows, it's gonna be bars on this lower floor to keep it a fortified, defensively minded house. Maybe it's on the outskirts of town, maybe it's in a bad area. Maybe you just don't want creepers getting in. But I'm putting bars in the windows. So once you've gilded all your faps, I mean, sorry, filled in all your gaps, then you can add on a couple more columns like that of stone brick and then one last kind of wall to make here. One of those could be do a door if you wished, up to you. Cool, good progress, well done everyone. Okay, next is another level of these little five by fours. What would you call them? Like, they look like little tables, don't they? Um, and another level. <laughs> There's three levels in this place, so you're gonna have to add on another eight and then another eight on top. Imagine building this in survival and all your friends be like, oh, that's noobish, look at that rubbish house, but you just wait until the end. You just wait, you just wait, Mr. Critical. This is looking cool so far. I like it when it's at this stage. Okay, so this level here has white concrete all the way around leaving little window gaps, of course. It is quite a flat, Mojangy, villagey style build, but the secret is to put the detail and the depth in later on. Okay, as you can see, the top floor got a healthy dose of oak wood, and you can see I've missed out a couple of panels ready to connect it onto the other parts of the build. So just swing the camera around nice and calmly here so you can see exactly what I have done so far. Okay, we're gonna zoom right into Yoda's head. It's a bit of a nasty place to be, but here we go. These are cool and important blocks here. If you get those upside down stairs in the right place, you are laughing. See where this goes? That block there, 
and then the rest of the, the roof really should just fit on pretty easily. Pretty standard Minecraft roof at the front here. Keep on going until you get to the middle, and then one upside down block in the middle, a twiddly bit on top if you wish. And then this bit again looking exactly the same. Hopefully you've built a few Minecraft roofs in your time. If this is your first one, well, it's not a bad place to start. Again, I like to start with the ends, the gable ends, the pointy ends of this roof here. Just brick, 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 brick. It's not too bad a job if you do it in that kind of fashion. There we go. So, all I need to do now is really just join up the dots. So let's get out of Yoda's head, I think. Yeah, there we go. You can speed this bit up. It's a simple block placement. Everyone loves roofing, right? <laughs> Some slabs to finish it off. Brick slabs on the very top. And of course, you could go crazy with that detail, actually, on the roof. You could add a lot more. Right, back to polished Andy is your site. We're going to have 12 blocks coming up here in the corners. Now, slowing down, I'm going to put alternate stone bricks there and alternate polished Andy's Yoda site. Or Andesite. <laughs> um, sometimes I forget the real names of blocks. You can see what I'm doing there. Alternate, and it makes this nice little pattern. And then in the middle, you can simply go up with stone bricks. It makes a beautiful little pattern. Right, we're going to zoom and do that on all three other sides. Okay, good. Once that is done, we can concentrate a little bit on the top of the tower. This is where I'm going to put a ring of uh, stone bricks around the very, very top. And then just fill those in as well. It could be a nice platform. I'm going to put some upside down oak wood stairs on this tower. I'm not 100% happy with the way this tower turned out. I think it's nice and simple. It looks okay, but you might come up with a better design. But this was nice and quick. Little corners, blocks in the middle, and you're good to go. Right, the next magic number is nine, and grab some cobblestone. And we're heading down to this kind of uh, a, lot, a lot fancier part of the build. A bit trickier, this bit, but I, I like it. It's actually one of my favorite bits of the build. So, nine. Nine. Do it. Nine. Do it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Nine. Hopefully, you can see exactly where that is. Lines up with the Ocus Woodus Logus. Same on the other side. We can just swing the camera around nice and gently. Stop you guys feeling too sick if I swing it too quickly. Same exact thing on the other side. So that was an easy little stage. Um, we're going to add a little bit more detail to the bottom of this tower to make it look cool. Just add a ring of cobblestone all the way around it. I've kind of squidge the camera back and forth here so you can see exactly what I'm doing with my cobblestone ring. Okay, that's, um, is it four blocks tall? I think it's four blocks tall. Anyway, you can see you should be on the wood level there and add on just another uh, ring of cobblestone stairs. And the tower's looking a lot better. Oh. Little stage here, I I forgot. Let's just zip back here. We're going to add in just wooden blocks there to seal up the gaps. Do that at both ends. Do that at both sides of the build. And that's the, that's the attic. So I think it's nice in the attic to have like um, 
a wooden fence in the middle there. Okay, the magic number here is 18. So we're going to come up 18 blocks of cobblestone here. Doesn't matter too much about the exact height of this, but I thought 18 was about perfect. You can make it a lot taller than the other tower if you want. And then just simply come up 18 blocks. You want to make this kind of a 5x5 five five cobblestone tower. So coming up, always finishing up at the same height. Right in the middle here, I'm actually going to leave a little gap for a door, a little by one by two gap for the door. And then just keep on going up until we've made our little five by five cobblestone tower. So that's two sides of it done. And I'm going to leave a little gap here for the main door, the main entrance in. You'll have to lose some roof bricks. And in just about a minute's time, guys, I'm going to be switching over into first-person building mode for all the detail. This is the main stages done, the main quick bulk of blocks placed it has been done. So as you can see, I'm just destroying a little bit of roof there just so I can bring in my tower all the way up to this height. There we go. We're going to zoom through the tower here. I'm just putting some little internal details in, which are quite hard to capture on this replay mod here. But I've put in a little bit of a floor, as you can see there. Just extended the floor and another door. So I've got another door and the floor and some more windows as well. And the windows just simply in this tower line up with all the other windows in the build. So there we go. That is the main structure of this done. We're going to hand over to... Uh, first person view. Um, oh, just the last little detail there. A couple of crenellations on the top of the tower and a nice floor. And there we go. We're ready to go into first person view and add in as much detail to this build as we can. Okay, well, that's the main structure, all the fast bits done. Now I'm going to slow down and do this block by block in first person. First of all, I'm going to put a little tiny touch of detail into this tower here. Uh, the right way up stair and then upside down stair. So exactly the same here and here. Stand back. It looks, looks kind of cool. I like that. So here and here, here and uh, not there. There. That's it. Um, okay, so let's go round to this side here. Um, first of all, I want to grab some of these things. What are they called? Stone brick stairs. Put these in here. One, two, three. One, two, three. So these are little archways into the build, and I guess underneath the build here, these would be kind of un slightly more undefended areas, more of a kind of a storeroom area. Still defended, but there's big open doors and stuff and walkways and stuff. You could even put a door here if you want. Anyway, 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 anyway. I digress. I digress. So we want to just um, miss out two blocks. So we want to miss out two blocks, one, two, and then we're going to go for upside down cobblestone stairs there and there. Same on this side here, like that. And then we're going to go one, two, three, like that, right above it. In fact, we're going to do this row, and then the other row is going to be exactly the same. Right, now we want to add on more of these cobblestone stairs here and here and then we're going to come up by four blocks so one two three four we should end up completely level with those ones there then we can go upside down upside down and then we can grab some bars I think we've got some bars down here thank you very much bar 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 and then we're going to go for hmm, what we're going to do we're going to go for boom, 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 boom. yeah we're going to grab these okus wood logus and we're going to come up um one, two, three, four, I think. So one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I might as well just get all these sides done exactly the same um, while we're here. One, two, three comes across, one, two, three comes up, and then one, two, and then more bars in here, just stopping people coming up the ladder and basically attacking you that way. It's supposed to be a fortified house <coughs> after all, excuse me. One, two, three. One, two, three, and then we're going to get a slab of stubble cone and stick it. No, not there. There, 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 no, there, and there. There we go. There we go. There we go. Easy peasy, easy peasy, easy peasy. Right, um, I am going to go, hmm, 
What am I going to do now? What am I going to do now? Let's bring this up all the way to there, like that, and then just come across, because this is still part of our 5x5 five five system, like that. And it's going to be exactly the same on the other side, like that. One, two, three, and one, two, three, like that. This is the most complicated part of the build. Okay, uh, we also need a floor as well. It's all, always handy to put a floor in the build like that. There we go, got a bit of our uh, floorage going on there, no problem. And you can also come through into this tower as well. And I'll leave you to put ladders and all sorts of things to get up to the top. There we go. Okay, so a uh, little bit of detail on the inside. We're gonna go for some Trapidorus Maximus. Uh, here we go. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go for some some trapdoors. So the trapdoors are gonna go there, there, and there. One, two, three. They're gonna get shut from this side. Boom, boom, boom. Whoops, no, 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 no. One, two, three, no. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm not going to furnish this today, by the way. Um, I'm just going to leave it up to you guys to furnish. And I don't want to take away too much of the creativity. This is kind of a, a starter to this house. And you should be able to run with this and just go with it and make it look unbelievably uh, better than I've done. Right, so what we want to do is do exactly the same as we've done here, but on the other side as well. So be right back when that is done. So here I am looking at your backside. No, that doesn't sound right. I'm looking at my backside. That doesn't sound right either. Um, talking about backsides, we're gonna. F Ooh, why? Why is that block come out there? That's that's a little bit weird. I'm actually gonna fill this backside in uh, like this. It looks okay from the back. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Do we have any more bars, please? More bars. More bars. Okay. So let's fly around. So it looks like that from the front, and then from the back, it looks a bit like that. Boom. Boom, like that. See, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, I tell you, it's fine. It's fine. Honestly, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, honestly, it's fine. Really, it's fine. Right, we're gonna place a little bit of a roof here. Uh, the bars are fine, by the way, they're fine. We're gonna place this round here like that. And then this is gonna come across here right that. There we go, see like that? So it's exact same on the other side, so you've got another chance of seeing it this time, so pay attention. Goodness me, can't do everything, you know. Um, so, is that right? <laughs> Talking of paying attention. Talking of paying attention, Andy. You didn't pay attention, did you? It's here, you numpty. Get your roof in the right place. Oh, what's happening now? Okay. Do you like these, by the way? Like this little uh, Trapidorus Maximus sticking out by one block. I like that. I like this. Okay, so this roof wraps around once you've paid attention. Like that. And then this bit comes across. Like that, and then that turns as well. It's an important return as well. It doesn't look nice if you don't do that, as I found out earlier today. So, uh, rolled up your ball here. No, it's a roof. It's not a wall. Build up your roof. Rolled up your boof. <laughs> I like laying with plurds, if you hadn't noticed. Uh, does annoy people. I get the most comments about, why is he mixing his words up? Is he completely stupid? Uh, and then we're going to go for Ocus oh, Wigus with a Slabus right here, and that finishes that bit off there. So that is the most complicated bit of the build in, really, it really is the most complicated. Believe me, it is the most complicated. So we've not got much to do, not got much to do. What you can do is add in some little window edges here, like that. Wherever you want a little bit of a window edge, just add these in. I'm going to just put one just higgledy-piggledy willy-nilly wherever you want a little bit of a window like that. So you can see it's right way upstairs and upside down stair and it makes this little kind of little arrow slot. I haven't done it very neatly there, but you could do a neater job than me. I'm actually gonna put one more up here just for uh, artistic reasons. Like that, there we go. <gasps> looking all right, looking all right. Um, talking of artistic reasons. No, I like, I like this. I like the way it's looking actually. I think it's okay. I think, I think we're okay. Um, Right, what I want to do is build up a little staircase into this build. So what we're gonna do 
is we're going to go one, two, three, four. We're going to come out here, and it's going to be one, two, three, four. So those those are the four most important blocks in your staircase. And we're going to ma make that three high. And there we go, three high, All right that. And then we're going to come in like that, just one block, and then come in two like that. And then we're going to grab some oak, and we're going to come up by four. I think one, two, three, four, like that. So that's how it looks so far and then this is where the stairs are going to be starting right about here that's going to be our last it's going to be our last stair now what you do up here is up to you i'm just going to just fill that in with some of that stuff what do you call it polished andy's your site like that there we go and and you can bring some logs across like that um let me just do that that looks pretty cool and then that so there we go that's our little door way starting to take shape we can bring these stairs down again and again and it kind of lines up with that one there and then we can go for another couple of blocks like that and then just bring the stair down kind of naturally like that this one gets built up just like that so you've got one two three four one two three one two and there we go all right, now uh, grab your Trapidorus Maximus and have fun with it because we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, we don't need you. Just need you, 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 you. Maybe you as well. Ooh, I didn't do that in my prototype, but that looks quite smart. You can take that off if you want and just have them right that. Um, do you know what? I think I made this go a bit higher. I think I'm going to make it go a little bit higher like that. Ah, yes, that, that's much better. It lines up with my five by five system. And then two, oh, why, why are you missing, mister? And then one, two, one, two, there we go. Hopefully this is not ridiculously fast and you can kind of just, if you can't copy it block for block, don't worry. As long as you get the main gist of the house, you should just about be all right, get it? Add a little bit of roofage. I know a lot of you don't build it and you just like to get a bit of inspiration and that is fine as well. A lot of people just use my channel as a bit of inspiration for their builds. Now I'm going to switch to Sprucis Woodus Slabus like this. That's why that one didn't have a window, see? It's all part of me plan. It's all part of me plan, you know? So there we go. There we've got a bit of an entrance in here. I'm going to leave it to you guys to put a door, to put whatever you want. But you've got a pretty smart little cozy place in here. I haven't shown you in here yet, but this has got loads and loads and loads of room. You could divide it, subdivide it, make an open plan, whatever you want. It is your domicile, your hoose. Okay, talking the details to finish this off, we're going to go into our inventory. We're going to grab some spruce fences. We're also going to grab some spruce gates and we're going to grab a little bit of a temporary blockage. We've all had, we've all had temporary blockages, haven't we? Put it that way. We've all had a temporary blockage in our lives. And just bring this all the way around, man. Wow, this goes a long way. Like that. Does it really go all that far? Hmm. 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 Village noise. Village thinking noise. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to put these in the corner and then we put little gates along here just for a little smidgen of detail. By the way, here we can go across. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Um, so, good, 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 good. And I, I think that looks... It's a very flat build. Some people complain it's got kind of ooh, connected textures, but it's supposed to be kind of mojangy and kind of supposed to look a little bit flat. So we can just bring these gates round and then in the corners you put a fence post and then opposite these you put a fence post as well. There and there. And that just finishes it off. Ah, and then we can go crazy getting rid of your temporary blocks. Like that. Right, is there anything left to do, Andy? Let's have a look. Yeah, a couple of small jobs. Couple of small jobs to do. I'm gonna put a little bit of a skirt around here like this. Kind of a little step up to the build. I think that just really makes it look really quite nice and just finishes things off 
completely. So I can show you this side of the build. Very, very plain indeed. You are going to need to add a little bit more detail. I can see I've missed out some gates and stuff at the top of the build as well. So that just finishes off right there. Um, here you could put another little skirt on. Let's see if we a little, little look at this kind of a little plinth. I I keep calling it skirts. Um, you could do something like that if you want. I think that looks okay actually. It's maybe, it's maybe too much. It's maybe too much. No. Uh, I'm going to leave it on. I'm going to leave it on. It's up to you if you do that. Now, um, up here, it's the same again with gates all the way around and these things. Just uh, hang a boot here. So I'm just going to put these on and then I'm going to pause the video. I think it's going to be the only pause in the video. And I'll put the rest of the gates on. Be right back when that's done. Okay, that has been done all the way around. And also, while you were away, I have put... Well, you weren't away. I was away. Well, I wasn't away either. I was still here. Nobody was away. While I paused, I've put on these things. As you can see, little Trapidorus Maximus looks like little window shutters. And that starts to give a bit of uh, detail to the build. Um, okay, last little touch of detail would be a little flag just to finish things off. So how many have we got? One, two, three. Can I even count here? What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. About six high for the flag. Sh maybe a bit more. Let's go seven high for the flag. And then I'm going to go like that. And then I want to go onto a diagonal like that and just bring it down like that. And then again, onto a diagonal like that. And then just bring that one down and just delete that one. And there we go. Hmm. I think I'm going to do that instead. I think that looks a little bit... I am so bad at... Fl Why am I always bad at flags? I don't find flags easy. Do you find flags easy? Maybe that's a bit better. Anyway, there is a little flag. <laughs> and the very last job, I think, is a little dormer window in the roof. So I'm going to put it right above this. And I'm going to hack in maybe, let's see, about here. Yeah, that looks good. Actually, when you get to the floor, you've done it in the right spot. So one, two... Three, yeah, one, two, three. Hmm, I think maybe, yeah, okay, let's go three. <laughs> let's take out these middle blocks as well. And what I want is some of this stuff, some spruce wood. We're gonna go one, two, three. And that makes a little space for the window, like that. And then all we need to do is finish off the bit of roofage. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and it should join on if, to the brick like that as long as you get rid of these middle ones and then same on this side one two three one two three four and then we can go like that I guess that looks okay yeah pretty happy with that you can put a little twiddle a little twiddle everyone likes a little twiddle every now and again and then we're gonna put that there or near and one two three four there we go, a little dormer window to finish things off. Right, I'm going to add some paths and bushes. Be right back. And there we go, fortified house in Minecraft. Fortified medieval house. Ooh, I've missed out one bit. Ooh. I think this is, you might not want to do that, but you've got these little joined up textures here. I just like to just, just do that. A little bit of slabalicious up there, and you could change that to an upper stair as well. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, oh, that looks good. Um, or maybe, actually, do you know what? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like that. There we go. There we go. Medieval fortified house. I hope you like it. If you do, leave some nice feedback in the comment section. Leave some hate if you didn't like it. <laughs> and thank you very, very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao. When the blocks be with you.